Hi, this is CJ, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can enable Hyper-V in Windows 11. Right? So if you like uh, creating virtual machines, then it's a good idea to learn how to use uh, Hyper-V on Windows 11. Now, Hyper-V, if you do not know, is a virtualization platform. It's a Microsoft in-house virtualization platform or something which is native to Microsoft. It, it comes uh, built in with Windows 11, not enabled by default, but we have to enable it. So it, it lets, it actually invariably lets us create the virtual uh, machines and run them on virtual hardware, right? Now, if you are familiar with the VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a, a free of cost application from Oracle. Uh, VMware virtual, uh, Workstation costs a bomb, I would say $300 or something uh, if you are lucky. And I also happen to have one license for my own use. Uh, and it's a good software, no, uh, make no mistake about it. But yeah, if you are getting something free of cost from Microsoft, then yes you can actually install it. So what are the actually the use cases of uh, Hyper-V? So Hyper-V is actually, as like I told you, it's a, a pre-built application. It's, it, it's a native tool that allows you to run multiple operating system inside the Windows environment, right? So uh, you may want to test an application. Uh, you may want to kind of uh, do some kind of basic uh, configuration and not tinker or not change anything in the host operating system like Windows 11 itself. So you install a hype, uh, you know, you enable the Hyper-V and also create an image. Now, in order to uh, enable the Hyper-V, we, we, we need to make sure that the, uh, the virtualization uh, is enabled. First of all, your computer needs to support the virtualization and it is enabled in the BIOS. The basic input output system which the, the blue screen which comes at the beginning of your uh, uh, pc boot up process right so uh, depending upon the model that you have purchased it could be uh, or the vendor like dell toshiba you know lenovo hp or what have you uh, you just have to tap a particular key in order to invoke the bios now i happen to have a dell computer so i can click on uh, i can keep tapping the f8 at the time i uh, the, the moment i start my computer it will going to give me the bios screen and i will just enable the bios save the settings and back on the desktop now in this video i'm going to show you three different ways how you can enable the uh, the hyper v on windows 11 one of uh, the first would be the graphic uh, the graphic user interface the control panel the second one would be the command line interface and third one would be the through the PowerShell. Okay, let's get started then. Enough of me. <laughs> All right. So click on the start button. Click on or uh, type control. So go to control panel. So if you have um, a category version, you can probably uh, choose the large icon or small icon and click on programs and features. Uh, then click on turn windows features on and off and you can see that there is a hyper v we have to check this box and we can probably click on this one like to expand to see if both the um, boxes are, uh, underneath are checked okay so once you are through with this thing you can click on ok and let's win, let, let Windows uh, do its thing. So basically, there is an image in um, already copied over to Windows. So when you install a Windows nowadays, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows also, you know, uh, dumps the entire operating system files so that you can use that to install some additional features later on. Okay, now it's prompting me to reboot my computer. Let me do that and get back. All right, so it took me about a couple of minutes to um, install the the, uh, the service and, uh, you know, uh, back to the desktop. So let's just go to the control panel to see if this is checked. Control panel. Program features. Turn Windows features on and off. And this is checked. Okay, so now I'm going to uncheck this. Click on OK. Remove the service. The reason why I'm doing it is because I want to show you how we can enable the service through the command line. So this, this process is going to uh, take place 
two more times right so i'm going to demonstrate the second methodology and then i'm going to restart again of course after removing the thing and then once we are back i'm going to install the same thing to the command line okay so now i'm back to the desktop the services the service uh, hyper v is uninstalled so now i'm going to try to install the same thing through the command line so we click on the start button and type cmd for command right click it and run it as an administrator cmd stands for command okay so it's going to prompt us to click on yes All right, so as you can see that I have uh, opened this thing as, in an administrative mode. Now I'm going to make use of this uh, uh, a tool called DSIM or DISM, I'm sorry. So which stands for DISM. This stands for Deployment, Image Servicing and Management. So this is essentially preparing the Windows service to uh, to invoke the Windows image. Now, when you go to the control panel, you check the Hyper-V box. It does the same thing behind the screen. Now, on the command line, uh, Rhythm, it's a deployment image servicing management tool doing the same thing. Okay, so DISM is the tool that we need to use. And then forward slash type online space forward slash enable hyphen feature hyphen all uh, hyphen feature name Microsoft hyper V okay let's go to th through this command this is the thing which is preparing the image and it's it, it is making it online we are enabling feature all the features so this is the name of the feature and everything that is there available for hyper v we want to enable all those features right so enable feature everything and what is the feature name feature name is microsoft hyper v and if you hit enter It's installing Hyper-V here. And once it is installed, it will also going to prompt you to restart your computer. So you press Y to accept and then restart. All right, so we are back onto the, to the desktop. Okay, so let's check if we have got the, the services enabled through the command line. Uh, go to programs and features and turn windows features on and off and as you can see that these things are now enabled so i'm going to be uh, disabling this thing again one last time rebooting the thing uh, because i want to demonstrate how we can enable this service through the powershell okay So it's going to ask me to reboot the system. I, once I'm done, I'm going to be back and and carry on with the PowerShell. Okay, we are back to the desktop one last time. And now I'm going to show you how to, you can install the same thing to the PowerShell. Uh, I know that this video is a, a bit lengthy, but please bear with me. I'm going to show you how we can install through PowerShell. So now uh, just type here PowerShell, P O W E R. PowerShell, right click on it. Once again, click on administrator. You will be prompted to um, accept it. Just click on yes. Okay, and now the PowerShell will be there. Okay, just type the command. I'm um, sorry. Uh, enable hyphen. Oops, enable hyphen Windows. You can just keep tapping. Uh, yeah, Windows optional features space hyphen online space hyphen 
feature name space Microsoft Hyper V Hyper hyphen V hyphen all. Okay, let's check this out. Enable Windows optional features online. Feature name is Microsoft space uh, Microsoft hyphen hyper hyphen V and I believe I put one more space after this hyphen. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, just hit enter. And then it's going to install. Okay, it's gonna prompt me to it's actually prompting me to reboot my system. Now it's gonna install this thing. Now that's the end of the video, part one. I hope you liked it. I really appreciate if you just click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and best about the like button. Thanks a lot for watching this video.